We're looking for people for whom this program has the biggest likelihood of making a major impact in their life. And we made a specific commitment that we're going to work with people who've had a hard time getting a job. I can't imagine like where I would be now if I was still doing all the things I was doing a year ago. Like, I will never hustle a day again in my life, ever. I never knew how much I had to live for, what I was putting on the line. Growing up, I learned all the wrong things. I'm not just getting released from prison. I'm trying to start my life back over. What would you bring to this job? I'm bringing uh, some leadership, new ideas. I'm uh, from Southeast, born and raised. There is no reason why this neighborhood deserves any less standards than any other place in the city, and that's why we're here. You're damned if you do and damned if you don't. People say, don't ignore Ward 8. But then when you pay attention to Ward 8, they say, what are you doing here in Ward 8? If you haven't reached, the people, what you do is try harder. If your organization is not physically located in the community, you will be met with a lot of resistance if you don't include the stakeholders. We don't have to come to you, you have to come to us. Somebody cut the tires or stabbed them. He went up there, came back, pulled something out of his pocket like he had a gun. Why Dang. are the police not here right now? That's because what I want to know. Call the effing police! It turns out Parks and People is in worse financial shape than we ever expected to be at this point. Promises, but nothing guaranteed. I got an answer to my family, how we gonna feed or how I'm gonna get my half of the rent. I talk to God every day, but it ain't working no more. It's our community, it's our kids that's walking through that park. Life has two roads. You can take the hard, constructive road, or you can take the easy, destructive road. <laughs> <laughs>